major development today for families who lost loved ones in that massive COVID-19 outbreak at the Holyoke Soldiers Home two years ago. A $56 million settlement has now been reached with the state. Western Mass News reporter Berseda Landa Verde joins us live in studio with reaction from one of those families. Berseda. Yeah, Chris, I spoke to Lori Mandeville Baudet, who lost her father during the height of the deadly COVID-19 outbreak at the home. Now she says no money could ever equate to the life of her father, but hopes today's settlement will prevent any future tragedies from happening. Governor Baker announced on Thursday the Commonwealth of Massachusetts has reached a $56 million settlement with the Holyoke Soldiers Home two years after a deadly COVID-19 outbreak claimed the lives of dozens of veterans in the facility. Like missing him and just knowing that he had to die alone because of the poor decisions made by the administrators up there. Lori Mandeville Baudet, who lost her father during the outbreak, tells Western Mass News she is still heartbroken over her dad's tragic passing. Baudet is one of the 168 people who will receive a part of the settlement. 84 people contracted COVID and died. 84 people contracted COVID and did not die. All of those people, all 168 people or states, are entitled to recovery. Tom Lesser, one of the attorneys representing the plaintiffs, tells us there are two classes of victims. One class includes the families of veterans who died from contracting COVID-19. This group will receive an average amount of $500,000, but no less than $400,000. Budget, who falls under this class of victims, reacting to the news. I thought this would drag out much longer um, and relieved that part of the litigation is behind us now. I hope that this precedent that was set today is going to show the Commonwealth and the rest of the states and in our nation that veterans deserve to be treated much better, especially in the uh, in their elderly years. Members of the second class, veterans who contracted the virus but survived, will receive an average amount of $20,000 or a minimum of $10,000. Lesser says he's very happy on behalf of his clients with the outcome of the settlement. And we had no idea whether or not this would lead to a recovery. We just know that those wrongs could not be ignored. So we brought the case and we're very happy to recover on be so nicely on behalf of our clients. Now, Lesser hopes all settlement payments will go out by the end of the year. Now, coming up at six, we have reaction from Senator John Velas and what is next for the Holyoke Soldiers Home Facility. For now, reporting in studio, Briseida Landa Verde, Western Mass News.